Tak tu se strepem, Yes. Pardon me of my curiosity, but what inspired you to take on the hood? Well, I was studying law as a, as a young lad, but God chose to send me down a different path. Saint Anne, help me. If I survive the storm, I swear I'll become a monk. To be true to my word and to save my soul, I joined this monastery, much to my parents' displeasure. Martin Luther, what do you seek? God's grace and your mercy. Are you ready to take up the cow? Yes. Yes, I am. I found solace in harsh restrictions. It reminded me of my upbringing. And through constant study, meditation, and prayer, I know I'm on the path to heaven. God bless the Holy Catholic Church. Well, now that I've satisfied your curiosity, um, please leave me in my meditation in silence. Mm -hmm. Oh, Luther, good luck on your first Mass, brother. Thank you. We offer to thee the true, the living God, how can I address such a God, surrounded by the choir of angels? I am but dust before him. What if my words aren't pleasing to his ears? My heart is full of sin, and he'd surely return me to the dust I came from. I'm unworthy to abide in his presence. Brother Martin, what was that? I must become better. I'm unfit to give a mass like this. I must become more perfect. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and study so that I can become more pleasing to God. Duty is Martin Luther. I'd like you to represent our charter in the holy city. You must leave at once. Of course, I'd be honored. The holiest city in Christianity. Maybe then I can discover the path to righteousness. Yes. At last, Rome, the holy city, I can wash the dust from my feet and the sins from my soul. Why, hello, good sir. We have relics held for 21,942 years of your stay in purgatory, all for the low, low price of only 10 floor. I don't have time for this. I need to get to Mass. Pater Noster, qui es in Caelus, Santificator Nomen Tuum, and Veniat Regnum Tuum. Holy sacraments are being treated like some kind of tourist attraction. How could Rome, the holy city, be so corrupt? If this sacred place is corrupt, is there merit or power to any of this? No, that, that's heresy. I, I can't say that. I can't say that. Pater Noster, qui es in Caelus, sanctificatur nomen tuum. 
Advenia Regnum Tour. Pater Noster, Fiat Voluntas Tua, Sanctificate Noam Tuum. Cielo et in Terra. Pater Noster, Panem Nostrum, Quartet Sanctificate Noam Tuum, Da Nobis Hodi. Sanctificate Noam Tuum. Sid Libera, Los Emalo, Amen. Who knows whether it's so. Frederick the Wise, what brings you to our humble cloister? I'm expanding my university and I need your most brilliant scholar to teach. Well, I can appoint no other but Brother Martin Luther here. Luther? What an ironic name for a monk. You'll love Wittenberg. I must introduce you to Dr. Staubitz. He's an amazing mystic. Martin Luther! Hey Marty, do you really think God's listening to you right now? Do you think he's paying attention? I mean, besides, you're doing this whole monk thing wrong. I mean, you're mediocre at best. But I'm a good monk. I follow all the rules of the order. Yeah, sure, you follow a bunch of rules. But shouldn't you be holy by now? I mean, look at you. You're pathetic. No matter how hard you try, sin will hold its grasp on you. There's no way you can fulfill God's conditions. I can't ever be truly good. God's standards are impossible. Impossible for you, maybe. In fact, I bet all you do is kindle God's anger with your unconfessed, unforgiven sins. I have so many, but maybe if I do more good works and good- You'll never be able to do enough to save yourself. Not when you're angry with an angry god. Angry? With an angry god? Brother Martin, I heard you speaking aloud. Are you okay? Well, yes, Dr. Staupitz. Uh, I was just going to head off to confession. I've just dug up some things in my youth that were rather foggy. Well, Brother Martin, enough of this. If you desire forgiveness, come to the Lord with something more significant instead of filling the air with these words. But if your sins are not acknowledged and confessed, they can't be forgiven. And that means that your soul is rife with strife. And that means... If I do not confess all of my sins, my corrupt soul must surely be destroyed by the powerful hand of God. You focus on the symptoms, not the disease. Let go, Martin. Stop striving and submit to his grace. Martin, he is a fool. God is divine. He is infinitely powerful. You, on the other hand... I'm just a speck of dust next to the Almighty Father. I would be overcome by his magnificence and shattered. Yes, and a God of such might. Why would he be listening to your pitiful prayers? Luther, you make this too difficult. You simply must love God. That brings comfort enough. Love? A judging, angry, condemning God? Yes, have a love in your heart as Christ strikes down souls to the fires of hell. And what of the merciful saints if God remains angry? And what if God isn't just? He doesn't need to justify himself to men. He can do as he wishes. Why can't he just damn men to hell on his whim, delighting in it as he does? This life is pain and existence is despair. Love him? I hate him. Take, read, teach. But I can't. Shh. Teach.
is Jacob and Griffin than me in the high school. Students, students, uh, please open your books to where we left off in Romans. Today we'll be talking about God's justice. For in the, in the gospel, the justice of God is revealed, justice by faith from first to last. Just as it is written, the just will live by faith. And note that the word justice is repeated multiple times throughout this passage. This could mean that God is, will enact justice on those who behave uh, sinfully. But if we take the context of the just will live by faith, then the justice of God is just his way of justifying us through his grace and mercy. God is not a judging God, but a loving God. Through Christ's sacrifice on the cross, he saves us through faith in him. And that's it, class dismissed. It is a new day. All I'm saying is, the church must return to scripture as a basis for doctrine. Our popes and even our priests are becoming more corrupt by the day. They don't know Christ's teachings, they're ignorant, and they're giving in to the greed of the world. Now, nobody write that down. I don't think I can fend off the pope and all his armies attacking me. <laughs> Bust this mess. Wait, what's going on? Alas, look to the heavens. Are you assured that you will be going there after sinning in this world and falling into temptation? What if your soul isn't pure enough? But alas, don't fret any longer. Look to this paper. With a small contribution to the Catholic Church, you can have remission for all your sins and escape purgatory. And you can buy them for your loved ones too so they don't have to burn in hell. And remember, as soon as a coin in the coffer rings, a soul from purgatory springs. I won't stand for this. I can't be silent while the Holy Church is corrupted. These people don't know the scriptures, and the priests are taking advantage of them with this cash grab. They don't know the truth. I have to tell them. Wow, this is really good. Yeah. Someone should send this to the Pope. Huh? Your Grace, I have for you the writings of a German monk criticizing your power. Hey, give me the cliff notes. It's a long series of a bull thesis, including the criticism of your power of a purgatory and objections over your ability to raise money including violating the welfare of the sinner. Ha! Huh, those drunk Germans. Send them the usual. Make them recant. And if they do not? Get rid of him. Mm. Well, look at this, friends. A bull from the Pope. What? It says here, that either I recant all my writings or I get excommunicated. No. no. The Pope thinks that I'm afraid of this piece of paper. But he can't excommunicate me. Only God can condemn yeah. me. Yeah. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is the Pope has officially excommunicated you, but the good news is you have a chance to recant to Charles V. You know I can't do that. I do. That's why I've arranged safe travel for you. I'll see you there. Godspeed. Martin Luther, you've been proclaimed a heretic of the Catholic Church based on your claims and these writings. Do you recant these violations? While I admit that some of my writings have been a little bit harsh, however, they're still my beliefs and I won't recant them. But if you can find me anything in these scriptures 
that proves me wrong, I'll be glad to recant. But you haven't shown me any such verses, and I haven't found any for myself. So here I stand. I can do no other. God help me. What? It is by the order of the Pope that you are arrested and promptly killed. Do not forget to deal, Your Majesty. Luther is to return home unharmed. What a good morning! Oh, what? Oh, my. What? Thieves! Murderers! <laughs> what? Get this bag off his head. You've had your fun. Now free this honorable man. Why, Frederick, it's you! I thought my boldness in the face of the Pope had come back to bite me, but here you are. I am a man of my word. I have assured you protection. Now that you're an enemy of the Catholic Church, what will you do? Whatever I must. But after all, it is a new day. I hate those people. Grandpa, I wish you could be here with me. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost. Veronica, there you are, sweet girl. Come, let's get you home. Oh, Dad, you know she's growing up because she's starting to become just like you. She's strong and firm in what she believes in. And she loves reading your writings, even though half the time she doesn't even know what they mean. She even challenges authority just like you. Last night I was trying to teach her table manners and she yelled, Sora Scriptura, show me where God says that. I say she has your fire, for better or for worse. She tries so hard to be just like you, Dad, and all of her friends make fun of her for it. If only you could see her now, Dad. Everyone's so stuck on the division of the church. The war is fought and as a result calls for a reform that they've honestly forgotten about the lives you've changed. Honey, let's get inside. It'll be dark soon. I'll be right in. I know you're with Veronica, and I hope she knows that too. I love you, Dad. <laughs>